We are excited to see participants showcase the prototypes they've been working on for the last three months. Good luck to all the teams participating today. Let's have some fun. Today we're at the Pega Science Olympics and we have challenges for students from grade 1 to 12 teaching them about engineering and geoscience through a hands-on experiential learning. I think it's really fun. We love the judges. We've made a few friends here. And yeah, I think it is very an upbeat, like very um, light atmosphere and it's really fun to be here. We're all like very passionate about science and to have the prospect of doing it with a team and with all my friends, is, it's a really exciting thing. I'm very excited because I want to see who's going to win. It's fun building it. So grades one, two, and three were designing an instrument to help people with visual impairment identify and see color. And they came up with really some innovative challenges that I was excited to see. We have to have three lenses, blue, green, and red. And you would have to read the words with your device that you made. Division two, so grades four, five, and six, we're designing a Rube Gold machine. It's an alarm system to wake up their teacher, but they had to put multiple challenges or multiple steps in it and use levers and pulleys to, uh, to wake up their teacher. The mystery challenge that we received today was to build an earthquake resistant structure that could withstand both horizontal and vertical forces. I think in the beginning we were really confident but we were faced with a lot of like hindrance and that kind of made us a little nervous especially towards the end. And after I feel like once we finally completed the tasks I feel like the nerves were gone and we feel more comfortable. created a watershed that's supposed to collect non-murky water, real life features in our prototype. So it looks realistic and it helps our water not become dirty and murky. It's working as a team. I think we all know each other from school. So having that experience together and working on it and problem solving was really a lot of fun and meeting up after school and uh, troubleshooting things was probably the most fun part of making the project. The long-term challenge that we received was to build a tower similar to that of an electrical transmission tower that would be able to withstand horizontal and vertical forces. In all our challenges, they are connected and tied to Alberta curriculum as well as real-life problems. So we're blending real-life challenges with the, the Alberta curriculum, so they apply what they learn in the classroom in a fun and exciting way. I would say just do it. Like, for me, it was still like a magical experience to yeah. go through, like, doing this like, very magical and new. It doesn't it, matter if you get first, have fun. Have fun. Uh, maybe once in a lifetime opportunity. We encourage failure actually. We encourage uh, students to, to give it a try once. If it fails, prototype, try again. This is where you really want to try your ideas. Any student in grade 1 to 12 is welcome to participate, either through putting a team in their classroom with their teacher, or even putting a team with their friends and having a, a parent or an educator oversee it. As long as you're in our school system and you want to participate, you're welcome to. Definitely come, whether you come out on top or whether it doesn't end up as, as well as you think it will. I think the experience is worth more than anything. And I think being able to work with your friends and work with your classmates is the most valuable experience of all.